Hello world, this is Benjo and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. I, I know I am very late <laughs> once again. I am very very sorry about this, but I did have some recordings, but it 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 was worse than usual. So, yeah, I've decided to scrap the videos and start over. But I'm going to show you some some footage of of the rejected episode. Um, just because the, uh, you, you need to know what happened. So what I, I basically what I did is that I have hunted for shulker shells and we also has gotten our wings. It's right there in my hands. The wings that we got in the rejected episode the episode that is right now in the recycle bin. Um, so yeah, now we can fly around with this. I, I did, I did try out some some flying last episode. It didn't go very well. So yeah, so, so this is what happened in in the last episode. Um, I uh, there's. Nothing really else that I need to mention about this. Um, so now we're going to start over and we're going to start something new. So it's not going to be in the end. We're going to do something else today. Basically, what I want to do is to finish a few things around here. Um, I want a good source of food. Right now I've been eating fish, but fish is it's not yeah, it doesn't really work. Yeah. Oh, why? Why? Ah, why, uh, oh, come on. Um, right click, then we can rotate this thing. Oh yeah, it's, it. it uh, never mind. And by the way, we also did these shulker boxes. Mhm. Mm so we did try uh, to make them. It was pretty easy. Two shulker shells and a chest. So that's basically what you need. And if I broke this with my fist, do I? Keep the shulker box. Yeah, okay, good. Well, I don't know what's happening today with me, but I've been stopping the recording a few times now and I've been trying to say what we were going to do for today. Um, basically, what we need to do is to finish a few things, uh, finish up a few things uh, in our main uh, base here. Basically, what I want to do is we finished up the tunnel, um, not in last episode, but the episode before. And I really, really enjoy the look of this thing here. Um, but when we come here, it, it, it's not finished yet. So there's nothing done. Like these top chests, I can't open them and I always forget. But I still, I am still using these three chests, but they are full and I'm starting to use this one. Uh, so I need to stop doing this. I need to start sorting stuff. Um, but again, uh, this is not what I want to do today. Today I want to start, I, I want a farm. I, I need, I need food. The fish is not doing it. I need like, I, I eat so often it's, it's not working. Uh, so I need steak. I want steak. That's what I want. Um, so I need, I need a protein and I think I'm going to build a farm like somewhere over there, like right, right there where the dirt is. Um, I'm just wondering if I'm going to hear the cows or not when I'm going to be here. I don't want to hear them. So this is pretty much the first things that, uh, oh, okay. I thought I missed, um, oh, I need the pickaxe. So what I was saying here is that we are going to put our car farm right here. But I just need to know first if we are going to hear the cows. Um, I don't want to be able to hear the cows while I'm like looking through the chest and crafting things. Um, I'm going to make the cow farm a little bit deeper. Um, mostly because I want to push the ravine. Like the, the big project here is to... Let's jump here. It's, it's to push the, the whole this wall here that I'm facing, push it back a little bit because I want the ravine to be a little bit larger um, than this. And 
for that I need to push things um, like this wall here and I'm planning to use a TNT for this that's why we have the creeper farm that is also not finished huh there's a lot of thing I haven't finished well anyway <laughs> we're gonna start this cow farm here um, and again it's another thing that's not going to be finished today uh, because I haven't designed yet how I'm gonna make this farm I have a rough idea on how I want to far the farm to work um, but I, I I didn't do any design of it yet so yeah <laughs> anyway I'm gonna dig this a uh, hole here um, I'm not going to like record me digging this hole I'm gonna stop the, the recording uh, in a few moments here but basically it's a big hole <laughs> and then we're gonna we're gonna do some tests here to make sure that we don't hear the cows and to also make sure um, that um, that we like the the placement of it because um, basically here from here there's going to be a bunch of small bridges that goes here then there's going to be like a a small uh, not a staircase but a, a way to get to the farm here and from time to time there will be another bridge that will go on the other side of the ravine and and so on so i just need to make sure that i do like the placement so make sure that the cows don't make any noise make sure that i like the placement of this that it's not too far away um and then we're gonna need to start designing this this farm and i'm gonna try to do this live, like on camera, come up with a design that is not done in a testing world. I don't know how the episode is going to look like, because this is the first time I'm going to do this. But uh, yeah, uh, my explaining is becoming a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut it here and I will be right back in a second. And just like that, there's now a hole in the wall. Look at this. It's it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful hole. It's probably not deep enough, but that's where well, we'll stop for now. We're gonna do our testing for for the cows. So I need to find a good way to bring the cows to the main base. Will one of you follow me? Here's one. I, I want at least two. Wait, no, it's enough. I just want two. There we go. All right, you two follow me. Come on here. Oh, and by the way, my voice should sound a little bit different now. Hi, it's not working, like I said earlier. Come on. There we go. Yeah, my voice should sound a lot different now. I, I, I purchased a, a boom arm for the microphone. So now the microphone is a lot closer to me and I should sound a lot more um, natural. It should, it should sound more like my real voice for now. Um, hi, sheep. It's going to follow me too. I don't want the sheep. No sheep, don't don't follow me. I'm gonna need to trap you somewhere. Don't follow me. Come on, cows. There we go. All right, now do I hear them? You can hear them from here. Yeah, if I go here. Mm, so far nothing. Okay, if I come a little bit closer. No, no sound, okay. Here I hear I hear and here I don't hear. Is that right? Mm. I think I can hear them moving. I'm not sure. But I think that means we're not gonna hear the the cows when we are going to be here. Which is what I want. So this would be perfect. Like if I they're behind there okay um, so now I need to do some testing here on how we are going to um, sort 
the baby cows from the adult ones. All right, so what I'm thinking is that maybe we can put this like this so the cows would be like right in this hole for her. like in here. So adult cow in there. Uh, I need to make them go in here. And I think if I feed them, um, uh, cobblestone like this. Okay, it's working. Okay, so you guys, you guys want to follow me into the hole? No. Okay, I'm gonna push you. Push. Go in. Are they not going in? There we go. How high are they? Um, they're about one and a half. Yeah. Um, that's how we see, right? Yeah, so they're bigger than one high. So I'm guessing that the babies are only one block high. Yeah, so the cows are in there. If I pull the lever, they don't get out and they don't suffocate. That's good. Now, if I have a baby. Yeah, that's the baby. So if I push this now. Yeah, uh, I should uh, have a hole here to make sure that they mm. fall down. Mm. Okay, so that seems to be working. That would be a way to sort them. All right, second test with the cow. So first of <gasps> No, no, this was... <sighs> Need to get another cow. I believe this qualifies as a third test, so here we go. Oh, they have a baby. We pick the lever and baby falls. And did you jump on the slab here? Why were you jumping? Oh yeah, if I do... Oh yeah, they can jump on the slab, so I need to... Like stop them from uh, being able to. So I might need something here, like um, like maybe a fence or an iron gate above this thing here to prevent them from jumping um, on the slabs and then out of the farm like this. But otherwise, this is working, and this cow is killing him himself. Huh. So I want the dispensers to be about here. Oh, I'm gonna need a little bit more if I want everything to be centered. Okay, so dispenser here, like this, and I'm gonna do... Oh, all right. So I have put seven dispensers right here in front of me, and this is where the water will be dispensed. So water will be here. And the cows will be jumping up and down. Um, well, sorry about that. That means we're gonna have our pistons right here in this wall here. Water is here, piston is here. Then I need um, like a, a, a block here. I guess we're gonna do it with um, stone brick. So pistons goes. Oh no. Piston goes one block deeper. There we go. This is going to be a little bit better. So piston goes like this. Let's take the piston. Uh, and like this. There we go. This is much better. And I forgot to craft the, the slabs here. All right, so slab goes here. Um... I will need more stone brick. Well, I'm sorry about that. I just realized that I was I, I stopped talking, so I need to <laughs> uh, I need to be careful about that. When you're doing redstone like this and designing on the single player world, it's a little bit uh, it's more difficult, and you need to think about what you're doing. 
and I'm already bad at thinking, so it's a big, big problem with, mm. for me, for my brain. My brain cannot handle everything that is it's doing. Um, so, and I just realized it's way too dark here. Mm. Ooh, Benjo, be professional. Come on. Okay. Um, all right. So I decided to clear more of the space here. Um, it was a little bit too cramped, so it's a lot easier to have more space mm. here for the rest of the design. Um, right now we want the baby cows to fall here. Get out of here. Come on, go back there. So we want the baby to fall here. So uh, we can't put anything in here, otherwise we stop the, the babies from, from falling. But we can place here um, half slab. And why I want to use half slab is just because it's um, uh, like we will be able to see a little bit through the, the farm a little bit so it's a little bit more open um, it, we, we can use full blocks it's, a, it's it doesn't change a thing um, and yeah that's pretty much where we needed the half slab and let's make I have too much stone on me let's throw some of these away um, there we go why not throw these away too and the die right too all right so I need signs. Let's make some signs here. So oh, 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 I need a few wood planks and a little bit more. All right. So I need sticks and planks. Uh, I only need this. I made too much sticks, but it's okay. It's okay. So nine signs. Oh, Ugh. hmm. Well, uh, this is a. I should have thought about this. All right, here we go. All right, so now we can like um, water will stay here. Uh, I can show you with the. Not with this. With this water bucket and a lever. There we go. Let's place. I'm gonna place it in this one here. We place a lever right there. Uh, wait, I don't want the piston to work. Let's put the lever here. So, like mm -hmm. water. He's staying above here. It's not like here. So the baby zombie when we're gonna trigger um, So when we're gonna trigger the pistons um, Oh Right, so when we're gonna trigger the piston here uh, Babies would get pushed and fall here. There's no water here. So there's they are not going to try to swim. So That's one thing done here all right, so um, the cows, they will be jumping up and down here. So we need something to stop them from getting out of the farm. And I'm going to use gracing glass. I do like gracing glass. I feel like it's it's the one that we can see um, better, like through the, through the glass itself. Mm -hmm. um, we want it right there yeah 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 all right so i'm sorry about that i had to cut a little bit here um i was like explaining everything i was doing and i thought it wouldn't really be interesting so i've decided to go ahead and do a little bit of the wiring and and then just explain trying to figure out the steps of what we need to do here and basically i just want to hold right click and have everything being done for me so what we need to do um, what I was thinking is that we need the water to go on like this uh, I put all uh, water buckets inside this dispenser here and the the cows the adult cow will jump up up and down in the water here and I was thinking of having maybe a minecart here and I would just hold right click and go back and forth like this 
and so the all the calves will be fed and they will breed and then after a, uh, after a few pass we need to stop automatically and once we have stopped we need to remove the water so the water gets removed and then we need to um, push the baby so the we push the babies out here and then all we need to do is have the babies to go a little bit down and then into a spot where they grow into an adult and then they get cooked once they are adult so i think this part here is pretty much figured out uh, i think i do need uh, yeah i do need to close this here like this yes all right so i need a few more stone bricks here I just f figured this one out. There we go. Yeah, that's all finished. Okay, so this side here is done. And then the baby should be able to fall down here. Right, so I think this is... Yeah, so this pretty much does what we did earlier for the testing here. Uh -huh. Okay, so I've added the water stream and this would push the um, the babies wait let's throw this here like the babies in the center here so they will fall down and now we need to figure out how to cook them and yeah this is uh, how do we do this i'm not really sure about this one here mm. the thing is I'm not sure they are going to grow as adult at the same time, so I'm not sure that my first mm. idea is going to work. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, I need to make uh, some observer blocks. Yep, there we go. So what I was thinking is to use observer block, strings, and repeaters. And I do need a dispenser. For this, we need a bow. And like this. Right. Dispenser. That's perfect. And do I need anything else? Uh, I don't think so. So if I put... Um, oh, right. Uh, so let's go like this. No, 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 not like this. Like this, there we go. Just like this. So imagine there's lava in this block here. Uh, in the dispenser, we have a lava bucket. So here we go, lava bucket. Mm -hmm. Then we need strings in front of them, like this, right? This will update the, um, the observers. Um, and for this one here, I will need, um, I believe, how do we do this? Mm. Alright, so there is a repeater here. Mm. Wait, I want, for example, this block here, we take the signal mm. from this one here. And I need to lock this one. And I'm gonna lock it from... Oh yeah, like that. Okay, so here we go. Something like... Uh... Yeah, something like this. Okay. And one tick late, like mm. later. This goes like that. Mm. This is just an example, okay? Let's remove mm. this here. And uh, something like that this should do it so um, something like that here it's something like this right and now if we build um, let's build something around this so what I was saying is that if babies fall in there nothing happens but if a cow grew from a baby and becomes an adult 
two pulse like this. And when it dies, it does two new pulse. Oh, we have a loop here. Well, it's lava bucket shouldn't, it are not items, so it should work better with lava buckets. Let's get a lava bucket. Well, it doesn't seem like it's going to work. Um, I've been having some problems with the lava uh, dispenser being uh, consistent. So, yeah, so what what's happening is that one of the um, calves can grow and then it will trigger the lava, but the babies... Kalyad, please, no, don't bark! So what I was saying is that uh, I was having some problem with consistency. So the cow would grow, the babies would die um, before they grow up. So they don't grow all exactly at the same time. Uh, and one of the and the other problem is that when the babies are falling, like like I try to spam them uh, in the creative world, and it was. Um, like sometimes the lava would trigger when the babies were falling down. So they're like two problem with the design that I did j right there. And then I decided to try to try to sort the babies from the adults. So when they grow up, you move the adult away to, uh, to cook them. But it, it wasn't really working. So we will need to think about this um, later on. And I need to rebuild this thing a little bit higher. And a little bit further back, um, because I'm thinking about the future of this room here. And I need to move this a little back. And I'm going to want to sort the leather and the cooked steak too. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to redo this. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, little doggy wanted my attention and he got, he got it. <laughs> so now, uh, I hope he's not going to start bark again um, there's something that I want to do around here and it's basically to start um, like finishing up what I wanted to do behind here um, basically what I want to do with all of the redstone of the base and um, I'm not talking about like um, the iron farm that we got outside of the base I mean everything that is redstone inside the base I want to link it somehow, um, link all of the redstone room together. So basically what I'm doing right now is that I'm preparing the room so we can light um, everything to make sure that nothing spawns in here. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need to correct this. All right. Oh, and we see granite. Let's take these away. There we go. And there was a door here. How does it look like if I do something like this? Is it is it bad? Kind of. Uh, it was better the way it was before. So let's change this back. Okay, so it was uh, like right there. Okay, this will stay like this. That's okay. Um, like this, there we go. And what I want to do is to move here everything down by one block. And basically what I'm going to do is to make sure that I have at least uh, two blocks away uh, from the redstone. Um, just because it's it's big enough so y you can move around but it's not too big like three blocks it would have been too big and one block it's a little bit cramped so we make it two blocks like this and everything that is not part of the redstone here I'm gonna remove them so this is not part of the redstone I'm gonna clean this up and then we're gonna uh, put some slabs here like this so nothing can spawn in here. And when everything is cleaned up, this is how it looks like. So everything is half slab. We have enough light so we can see around. We can move around our redstone, take a good look how everything is made. And when there's a path leading to a next to another room, we have like day, the daylight system here. So if we go here, we can go. This is the daylight sensor telling us when we can sleep. 
and right there we got the furnace room so if we go this way then it's going back to the furnace room um, basically we're gonna need also a new path um, like there will be one from the daylight sensing that will need to go to the uh, AFK fishing farm that is right over there and we will also need a pad that will go to the cow farm for the redstone of the cow farm um, once this would be completed we just need to figure out how to kill how to kill the adult cow um, still haven't figured this one out so but yes yeah, so basically we, we will have like a pad that will always find a way to a redstone room and that will be our hidden hidden um how do we s how, how can i say that it's like a hidden path to the redstone so it's like another part hidden from view but it's going to show all of the redstone all right so i need to figure out in a testing well how to finish up the cow farm so this is going to be it for the episode for today i really hope you have enjoyed the episode today's episode it's going to be a short one um, but I hope it still was an uh, interesting one. Really hope you have enjoyed it. Hope to see you guys next episode. À la prochaine. Bye bye.